This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. And last but certainly not least, a name that a lot of folks have heard of, but maybe don't understand what his impact was in different territories. Mr. Austin Idol. What can you tell us about working with Austin or spending any time with him? Um, Idol was a guy that was in control of, of, of his own destiny and me learning the business at this point in my career, I could still see that he came in and out. He was another guy that fell in love with Pensacola and bought a home there and stayed there. Uh, that was his base for a long, long time, but he kind of called his own shots. And when he would come in, he had a full setup of merchandise, which we've talked about that was his, that he could sell, you know, before the show during intermission. And I imagine it, you know, later during the show, he was a real hustler and, uh, looked great, great promo, good physique, uh, was a veteran, you know, had been in the business, uh, a couple of different gimmicks, iron Mike McCord. And, you know, uh, I think he was in one of the plane crashes that tore his feet up. So, you know, his career was in, you know, for the longest time was, was in jeopardy. So, you know, very storied life for Austin Idol by the time I met him, but he was, you know, really a nice guy, uh, great on, great on the stick, looked good and, uh, was a businessman. And we should mention who do you think wins this 14 man battle royal? Do you remember Austin Idol? A fellow named Arn Anderson. Oh, that name again. You won a match. And you what beat was everybody. the prize? Uh, the win, Mrs. Anderson. Well, I got, I got over then. <laughs> uh, that same day you're working a tag match. It's uh, you teaming with Jimmy golden to take on Austin idol and Mr. Olympia. How was Austin idol in the ring? Uh, let's put it to you this way. He's not going to be a, uh, bouncing ball. He enjoyed knocking the heels down. And to be honest with you, it was much easier that way. Um, he would sell, but he wasn't much of a bumper. If I recall, which meant he had been around a while and he pick and chose, you know, when he took his bumps and all that stuff and what kind of bumps he took, but he was, uh, he was so over with the crowd that when he started selling, they would get with him and he would have like a, Hulk Hogan, Hulk up routine, you know, before his comeback and all that stuff. I mean, he had it down. He was a, you know, he's a good baby face. As a, uh, performer, I've heard people say, you know, he was trying to look like superstar, but he was talking like Michael Hayes. And obviously, uh, everybody borrows from somebody. Who do you think Austin idols sort of inspirations were probably, uh, that's probably close. Billy Graham, obviously with the body. Um, I want to say not, not dusty roads, but that charismatic, you know, upbeat, Yeah. Uh, um, that would be a couple of guys that came to mind and, and not that he was trying to deliver it like dusty. It was just that dusty was upbeat. He, he, he knew you knew he was having a good time. Same thing with idol. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.